Top of the morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of 46 Garage. If you guys have tuned into the channel before, make sure you hit the like button down below. Your support goes a long way. And make sure you hit the post notifications bell so you guys are up to date on any new videos that we put out. Check it out, guys. Today we're working on a 2006 Audi A3. So on this particular car, guys, we've got a brand new fender in a box. It's gonna be going right here. We're also gonna be fixing a little bit of this rusty rocker action. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull both these fenders. We're gonna pull the bumper off so we have access to these rocker panels, make our life a little bit easier and easy access. And then right around the back here, guys, show you we're also going to do a repair on this quarter panel here as you can see there's a little bit of surface rust going on here we're going to fix that and we're going to blow in our quarter somewhere up here all right guys so you've got three screws in the fender liner here once you get those out you'll be able to pull this back there'll be another t25 that goes right up here now underneath the bumper there's going to be two underneath here there's two more torque screws in the middle here you're going to want to remove and same thing on the other side three bolts up here t30 so now that you guys got your fender liner pretty loose if you look back in there let me get my flashlight so if you look back there, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. You're just gonna wanna get a uh, extension with a swivel or whatever you feel that is easy to get at that. Remove that guy, same on the other side, and the bumper should be ready to come off. Make sure you guys unplug your fog lights on the way out. Near the headlight here, you got a couple more torque screws. Gonna have a torque screw right here for the fender liner, and then underneath there, whatever is left of the screws that were probably 10 mils at one time. So you guys are gonna notice the bolts in the bottom of the fender, they're T30s. They're kind of covered in the seam sealer from the factory. It seems that they put the fender on and then kind of put the seam sealer undercoat on over top. You're gonna have to scrape some of that away. If you see, this fender's so rusty actually, it basically broke when he took those two bolts out. Uh, now when you pop your fender liner back, if you take a look in there, there is a T30 sitting right here. So you're gonna wanna remove that guy and that's our next step. Check it out guys, so now you got your wheel off, super easy access, remove the rest of the torque screws for the fender liner, I'm gonna remove a couple more torque screws for this. So guys, here's a shot of the 230s, those are our last two. Fenders are off guys, now we've got nice clean access to our repair areas where we're gonna uh, dom 16 these lower rockers, give them a, a little bit more life, re-undercoat them, paint them. We got a new fender to go on here. I'm gonna fix the fender bottom on this fender, which is now off. Bumper's off. So we got our rusty rocker areas nice and cleaned up, guys. We did the same on the other side. This is a pretty common area on these uh, little A3s. So we also got a spot in the back quarter we're gonna be doing. Right over here, this one is due to a previous repair though. A little bit different ball game there cover that as we go so next thing we're going to do here is wipe this area nice and clean with some wax and grease remover we're going to get our product dom 16 we're going to get a fresh paintbrush see you right away Alrighty guys, so we got it brushed on, got our affected areas, we got a little area right here. 
and going around to the driver's side, same thing. So now we're going to let this stuff secure for 24 hours. That's what the can says. After that, we just continue our repair the same way we would normally. We are going to make sure the fender that we got for the car is the proper one we need. And that'll be it for All today. Right, guys, back day two. So we got to put a little mud here. As you can see, first coat, second coat, nice and straight. Nothing to it, guys. This one was super easy. I didn't film the whole thing because there was nothing to it. Uh, just going to glaze this up a little bit. Got our rockers mostly scuffed. We're going to start masking stuff. Our uh, rust sealer dump 16 killer, nice and dry. It's been 24 hours. I'm going to hang the new fender on the other side. And we'll catch you on the flip side. So that's our glaze coat. As you can see, guys, I just put a little bit of uh, tape on the body line here just to keep my glaze from going on areas that I don't really want. We're going to hit the glaze with 180 first. And then we're going to move up to 220 before we prime this little area. So we're going to treat this quarter panel as a blend area. So this is just going to be clear coat. Up. Base is down, fenders based, rockers are based. We're just going to splash another coat of base. Everything seems to be covering real nice. There was not really a lot of base to put on the quarter panel. It's mostly a blend panel, small repair area here. Let's fire it back up.
this tape and masking paper uh, right after my last layer of clear. When you're doing a blend panel like this and you're taping your tight lines around moldings and stuff like this, it's a pretty good idea to pull that last piece of tape that you put on your, your final fine line so that your clear coat can flow into that edge. It just kind of makes for a more seamless uh, repair for a blend panel like this. Fender, boom. Slap it together in the morning. Have a good night, guys.